right, seven days have flown by, so that gives you another bushcraft build in the woods. High of 85, low of 65, and guess what? Rain's in the forecast. Let's move out to our spot and get set up. All in a day's work. Okay, the military poncho or military style poncho, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated pieces of gear or kit. If you don't own one of these, you are wrong. Now, most of my videos, I get involved in these elaborate builds. And a lot of people say, well, I don't have the skill level to do that. That's something I wouldn't do in the woods or that's just too much work for an overnighter. Well, guess what? I'm gonna use an emergency poncho today and show you that you can build a structure, not too elaborate, but you're gonna be off the ground and stay dry. Let's get to it.
And here we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we're tight AF. It's a lot more condensed than my normal shelters. And here's why. We're not dealing with an 8x8. We're not dealing with a 6x8. We're not dealing with a 5x7. We're dealing with a military style poncho. And we're talking probably four and a half feet, if we're lucky, by six and a half feet. And it's not an exact rectangle either. So, for what it is, I'm happy. If any water were to come down here, I'm off the ground. I can also take this top portion and drape it down and stake it out. And we've created a tube tent or a tube style tent where we're off the ground. And I'm happy. So, yeah. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, they can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Right on time. Okay, so this is doing exactly what we wanted. Everything is sloped down this direction right here. We've got our berm put up. The water's going around that berm. It's actually going in the angle underneath the bed as well. So, there's no doubt in my mind that this is working. 
It's actually pushing the water to one side and running off. It's displacing the raindrops out like this. It's going to hit and go versus actually landing on top of the fire. And I'm happy. The water's being channeled around and it's good to go. Okay, we got a small break in the rain, so I'm thinking it's time for a bushcrafty project before dark. Why? Because that's how I roll. Okay, I want to go with a ladder style pack frame. Now, here's the deal on this. A ladder style pack frame is different than a Roy Croft or Roy Craft pack frame, where that's an A-frame shape, like this, like a triangle. If you want to carry your heavier loads over long distances, you want to go with something like this. It's very simple. Five sticks, one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to do log cabin notches, followed by your choice of a square lash or a series of arbor knots. So it works. Now keep in mind, the thinner the cordage that you use here, the more it's going to want to bite into your shoulders. So rope or some kind of webbing or even mule tape is perfect. Now if you look at the back here, I can load this bad boy up with logs all day long. Or take a tarp and place all my belongings inside of it, wrap it up, and secure it to my frame, and I have a makeshift backpack. Boom.
Oh man, we have our ribeye, medium well, and we have our cheesy bacon potato. Look at that. That is outstanding. Whoa, it just broke apart. Look at that. Bacon infused. Mm. But that's what we're talking about right there. Oh. Mm. Get you all in a few. And there we go, round two, baby. Okay, so we just had chow, and we got about an hour and a half before dark. And I am sluggish AF. So I'm thinking we get out here and move around, maybe get a little bit wet, but find some firewood. Now, the wood's gonna be wet or damp, so I wanna get it, strap it to my pack frame, head back to my shelter, and then lay it around that campfire, hopefully dry that crap out, but at least we'll have something, and we tried. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. If Corporal were a mutant, which I am, do you see me as part of the X-Men or X-Force? Hmm. Leave a comment below. This sucks. There we go, baby. Living, L-I-V-I-N. Okay, so 2040, 8.40 p.m. 
those that wanted a rain video, you got one. Um, I'm finally starting to dry out, and that fire's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's being protected, the heat's coming right around here, and everything here is getting dried out, so I'm happy. That's a win. Hashtag winning. Um, we'll talk about the shelter in the morning, but right now, my thank you. Thank you to all my old subs and all my new subs. I appreciate and love every single one of you. Thank you for what you're doing. Um, these past nine weeks have been tough, and you guys are there for me. You're showing YouTube that you want Corporal's Corner, and I'm giving you Corporal's Corner. Just keep doing what you're doing. Watch my videos all the way to the end. Share them with everyone, everywhere, and then scroll through that playlist and find my next video. Play that bad boy. Get me bumped up on that list. We're 700,000 and change for subscribers, and we can taste that million. So let's get her done. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. You know, I'm sitting here looking at this fire and I'm thinking, you know, most people don't know what's possible for them. Um, you asked me probably 15 years ago what I thought was possible for me. I thought working 9 to 5, you know, 7 to 3, 6 to 2, and having my weekends off. And that's, that was life. Um, it's not, though. There's a whole world out there. And I'll keep this short and sweet. Um, just something I'm thinking about. Most people just settle. My channel, once again, is here to inspire you. If I've inspired you, then I've done my job. Um, get out there, practice these skills, get your kids involved in them, and have a good time doing it. Open those doors up, step through, and see what's possible for you. Um, that's all I can say. If I could just go back in time and give myself some advice, it'd be... The sky's the limit or the limits of sky. Wood's drying out. Tool maintenance is done. Mosquitoes are at bay. And we're talking 21.10, 9.10 p.m. So that's it for me. I'm going to have some me time lay here and draw my fire collect my thoughts and think about future excursions um, got a few irons in the fire those have been following my instagram channel you see me playing around with iron ore or bog iron also i'm taking a crack at the old uh, corporal crete or roman concrete in reality it's lime mortar so once i can get those dialed in to where i'm out here in the field then we're going to hit that pretty hard, so big things coming. Catch you all in the morning. Mm. Now for the hard part. Death Wish Coffee, always outstanding. But the fact that I'm still here and I've been drinking this for about two years, might want to check that recipe. Just saying. Let's go ahead and talk about this shelter. Okay, so what do we do here? We did a solo overnight using an emergency or military poncho. Now, most people would think you're gonna come out here and just hang this in an A-frame or a plow point configuration. 
and you'd be one and done, good to go. But here's the reality. Now someone's gonna say it. Using a poncho, you're gonna get wet. Here's the reality of what you just said. Yes, if your only tarp is a military poncho, that's probably four and a half by six and a half foot in length, you're probably gonna get wet. Unless you do something like this. We came out here, we got a raised bed. Got us up off the ground, about seven or eight inches. Enough for water to flow underneath us. From there, we went ahead and built our Y branches and our ridge poles so our tarp would go over top of it. Then we moved on to our fire pit, a covered fire pit. Why? Because rain was in the forecast. Nothing too elaborate, just enough to displace those water droplets and allow the heat to escape. Lastly, we went ahead and built a berm around this to facilitate water. It would hit here, roll around us, and roll underneath us. The shelter did exactly what it was supposed to do. Military poncho in the woods. And there you go, solo overnight using an emergency military poncho in the woods. Now, think about this. All we used was a knife, a small saw, cordage, and a military poncho. All four of those items can fit inside of a military butt pack. Something to think about. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, and then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. Whoa, still here? Okay, check this out. I'm gonna pimp my Instagram page one more time. Corporal's Corner on Instagram. Once again, that's Corporal's Corner on Instagram. There's only about 30,000 followers on that page and there should be a, a ton more. We're talking 700,000 plus people follow this. Follow me on Instagram. You're gonna see behind the scenes photos and videos of projects I'm working on. Not necessarily just that build for the week, but other irons that are in that fire. Um, it's also a way for you to get notified when videos drop. So check that out, Corporal's Corner on Instagram.